Mm. Luke warm coffee, how delicious. Hi, I'm back for another video. I will stop singing that intro one day, I promise. I just, I can't, I gotta get it out of my system, you know? <laughs> so this is gonna be a very, very, very uh, casual kind of chit chatty video because I'm so buggered. I went to the Australian Tattoo Expo yesterday at the Brisbane Convention Center and I'm very tired. It's up for like 22 hours or something like that. Um, got two tattoos, went and visited my friend Mick afterwards for a few hours and then drove home and got to bed at like two. I'm very tired. I have a coffee which I may regret later when I feel like the world is ending because that's what coffee does to me. I was going to vlog yesterday but we all know how well this whole vlogging thing is going for me right now. So obviously I got like zero footage. No that's a lie. I got like I think it's like 48 seconds of footage. <laughs> wasn't even in the way. Yeah because the reason that they did when they have like wounds on them is because the you know like some somewhere in the body. Yeah, it heals. So they, <laughs> they probably can smell blood. Am I on TV? No. Yeah, TV! I'm definitely on TV. So yeah, that was my day. <laughs> um, also did a bit of a time lapse of getting my second tattoo done, so I'll probably put that on Instagram. I might even put it in at the end of this video if you're interested. Who doesn't love a good time lapse? I mostly wanted to do a really quick review on some vegan tattoo aftercare that I've been using for the last two tattoos. So I think it's been probably about a month uh, maybe a little bit over a month. 13th Sparrow. A little jar. So yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they're based out of Melbourne. Yeah, Melbourne. It's, it says it on the jar. So it's 13th Sparrow Quality Goods Co. Vegan Tattoo Balm. This is the 30ml jar. They do have a 60ml, which I was going to buy initially, but I tend to like want to buy the smaller or get like a sample size container of whatever aftercare I'm trying for the first time, just because like not always, but sometimes my skin can be a little bit like nuts and sensitive to certain things. So I think it's always good to try out the little like mini size, but this isn't even really mini size. Like for 30ml, that's, that's like a pretty big jar. It's almost gone. You probably can't see. It's almost gone. It smells really good. I was using, oh gosh, let's let's run through the list of aftercare I've used after over the years, shall we? Uh, my first tattoo I got probably two weeks after I turned 18 and it's atrocious and we will never speak of it. And I will probably never show it because it's terrible. They recommended Bepanthem, Bepanthem? Whatever, you know, that the nappy, if you're in Australia, it's that nappy rash cream that everyone recommends that you put on tattoos. For me, I think it's really disgusting. Like, I hate that it stays moist. I hate that word, moist. Depending on where your tattoo is, it makes your clothes stick to it, which is gross. It makes your clothes gross. It makes you feel gross. And if it's a brand new tattoo in like a particularly sensitive area, when you go to take your clothes off to or like move your clothes so you can clean it, it hurts because it's stuck to you. I know a lot of people that use Bepanthem and swear by it and whatever, but it's it's not for me. I'm not I'm not a fan. So I think I, I went from using Bepanthem to I tried pawpaw ointment in the little red squeezy tube. Didn't really like that much either. I've tried I think it's after after ink. I'm not sure. After ink, I'm pretty sure. Trailer Trash used to stock it. I'm not sure if they still do. It's vegan. It's quite good as well. I find it's a little bit more well, it's it's a lotion, it's not a balm, so it's a little bit more not watery but it's it's much lighter and I feel like my skin just like soaks everything up so I feel like I go through that a lot quicker like it works really well my tattoos were healing in two weeks I mean most most of my tattoos do like have healed in about two weeks but I'll get in, get into it when I start talking about this I ran out of that and then I switched to I think it was called tincture I'm not sure if I can find it I'll put a little link below because it was quite good but 
um, is a tattoo oil, which is different and I'd never used one before. And I feel like that was my downfall. I got my, I don't, you probably can't see through my shirt. I have a little pineapple there little pineapple and Mimsy did that a couple years back I think it was probably two or three years ago now in her trailer at Grease Fest which was super fun and I ran out of my after inked and because no one in Toowoomba stocked it at that time I picked up this little bottle of tincture stuff which is the tattoo oil and I think I must have been putting on way too much because when you use too much of whatever aftercare you're using, instead of your tattoo peeling nicely and gradually and all that kind of stuff, it tends to scab more like a, like a normal wound would when you're healing it, which is bad for tattoos. You don't want that because when those scabs dry, it sounds uh, really sorry, but when they, when they dry up and fall off, they tend to take a lot of ink with them. So then you've got a patchy tattoo, which is what happened with my pineapple, which is completely my fault like very bad and if Mimsy ever found out I'd be really super sad about it <laughs> but yeah so I feel like I just I used too much of it and I had the whole oil thing I don't know wasn't really for me my next tattoo after that I started seeing Dan and his old shop at the time was stocking Dr Pickles which is a Brisbane based company it was really good too I don't think it was vegan looking back I'm pretty sure it had beeswax in it or it had maybe Vaseline or I don't know something in there that either wasn't vegan or I didn't think was very good for my skin but by that time I already had bought like three tubes of it and this is uh, this is a side note and probably a video for another day but this is why I consider myself to be a very bad vegan because if I spend money on products that turn out to have honey or beeswax or something in it that's not vegan I will I'll keep using it up until it's gone because I'm not like I can't I don't earn a million dollars a year I can't like flush money down the toilet just because something has beeswax in it like it's terrible and I feel bad <laughs> but I keep using it till it's gone and then I just don't buy it again so that's what I ended up doing with Dr. Pickles and when my last tube ran out I'm like oh god now I have no aftercare at all what am I gonna do and I had my planchette tattoo with Dan coming up so I'm like oh I gotta get something jumped on google typed in a uh, vegan Vegan Tattoo Aftercare Australia because I wanted it to get here fast and that's how I came across 13 Sparrow. They were on Etsy. I think the 30 mil was, I want to say $15 and post is like 7 or 8 which is like pretty standard for Australia post cost I guess. I'm nearly out of this one. It'll get me through for the next few days. So I ordered another one last week and it's on its way and I'm very happy and they were super kind and dropped me a little message on Instagram and told me that they'd sent it and I'm like ah! So yeah, very excited to get more of that. I use it for a lot more than just my tattoos as well. So I've, I'll backtrack a little bit. I used it to heal my planchette tattoo that Dan did at 303 at Broad Beach on the Gold Coast. And I've also used it to heal my little Sailor Jerry cherry cocktail lady lady uh, that Muggs did also at 383 at Broad Beach. And I still have like a fair chunk left and I've been using this. <laughs> I've been using it because it's winter. I've also been using this uh, on my elbows and my knees and my lips for when I'm at work and I'm feeling particularly dry because it's it's a little really solid glass jar. It's teeny tiny. I chuck it in my little work backpack and I go and I use it for everything. Because I lose lip balm and I lose everything. So this is good this is good for a little bit of everything which is really cool. I'll put the Etsy link in the nethers. That's what I'm calling that now because I thought it was kind of funny. I'll put the Etsy link in the nethers and you can have a look at like the ingredients list and all that kind of stuff. I'll give you a quick little read through of some of them. It's like shea butter, candelilia, coconut oil, jojoba oil, calendula oil, hemp seed oil. Holy crap I could go on about how amazing hemp seed oil and hemp hearts and all that kind of stuff is. Um, I have a bag of hemp hearts in my freezer that I put in my smoothies. I feel like I should go through a bit of like a tattoo aftercare routine video one day. When I'm healing tattoos, especially if I have a large one or if I have a few, I tend to change up my diet a little bit and just what I do for those few weeks while I'm healing because I, I do get the tattoo flu. I just feel really run down and tired because a, a tattoo is a wound. It's a pretty wound, but it's a wound. So your body is kind of like working overtime to heal that. So it does kind of take it out of you and knock you around a little bit. So I, I usually like sleep more, I have smoothies for breakfast in the morning and put hemp hearts in it and fresh fruit and spinach and protein powder if I haven't and all that kind of stuff. Make sure I take my multivitamin just so I, I know my body's getting everything. Go to bed earlier, that kind of stuff. Rosemary oil in it and lavender, which is probably why it smells so freaking good. And frankincense? Ooh, and myrrh, ooh, how like fancy. 
but yeah, it smells, it smells really good, it smells really light, it smells really clean. Um, I tend to get really like shitty allergies um, in the winter time and sneeze at everything, but this like doesn't affect them at all. Um, I feel like I'm fairly sensitive too, so if you're an allergy human, then hopefully this won't bother you either. Like I said, I've healed two tattoos completely with it. I feel like it's cut down on healing time quite a bit too. When I've used other aftercare, it can take more than two weeks for my tattoos to heal and I don't know if that's specifically the aftercare or if maybe I was like a little bit sick or not sleeping enough or whatever but I find with the 13th Sparrow I'm healed in a week and a half. It says on the jar to apply it four to six times a day. The first three days I am doing it probably four to six times a day. After that I taper it off to once in the morning, once at night or sometimes my skin can get a little bit irritated just like out of the blue so like one section of the tattoo might be a little bit red and not infected by any means, but just a little bit irritated. Then I tend to apply it a little bit more regularly to, to try and like counteract that irritation. And I find, I'm, I think it's the calendula in it. It does tend to like take away that redness fairly quickly and that like settles it down really nicely, which is good. Yeah, so this was a little bit rambly. I'll put it in a photo of my two heel tattoos here. So because I've had so much wonderful success and comfort using 13th Sparrow, like I said, I did order another 30 mil jar just because I find it's a really good size. I don't know how much, of, how big a 60 mil jar would be. And I like the size of the 30 because I can throw it in my bag. I can put it in my pocket and just take it with me wherever I need to. I did get two new tattoos. They've got that, um, the like second skin on it. I don't really know what it's called. There's another one up there, but you can't see. It's kind of like, that plastic like book contact but not <laughs> um, so I'll be leaving that on for a couple of days and then when it's ready to whip off I shall do so and give it a clean and put on my 13 Sparrow and then I'll be good to go again if I remember I might even do like a daily check-in for how it's healing with the 13th Sparrow once I take off the film and actually start doing my aftercare routine properly every day and just kind of give you a bit of an idea of how a tattoo heals and how this particular aftercare works. This is only for my skin. I've been told I've got really good skin for tattoos. I think it's because I'm so pale <laughs> and my skin just holds color like crazy. My hair is the same. It just like it wants you to hold on and never let go. So yeah, long story short, score out of 10 for 13th Sparrow, my experience so far. I would probably say 10 out of 10. My my one and only complaint, and it's so minuscule that's not even actually a complaint, is that I have long fingernails, and the only way I can get it out, obviously when my hands are cleaned, um, I kind of like use the back of my nail to like scoop it out, but but here's a tip for all my long nailed ladies. Do that, so use the back of your nail to scoop it out, but kind of do it in a circle around the edge and then depending on how much you need, like work your way in. Kind of like when, when people do like woodworking, have you seen those videos of people using a lathe and they're making handles and they get the chisel and they start from the outside and it spins and then they, you know, kind of like that if that makes any sense at all. All the details will be below. I'll put in their Etsy. Um, I'll put in their, I'm pretty sure they do have a website or their website is coming soon, I think. I don't know. I'll put it all below. I've got a Facebook page, follow them on Instagram. I'm pretty sure it's just at 13th Sparrow. Yeah, so I think that's it for this video. It's a very rambly, not to the point review video slash roundup of the tattoo expo yesterday. Um, also, this is, this is my hair. What are we now? I'm going back in two weeks. So this, I think this is like four weeks in. And I did do a little bit of a color refresh with Arctic Fox Phantom Green, I think it was, just because I, I wanted to be all like pin up -y and cute yesterday because it's an expo. And yeah, I wanted to be cute. So <laughs> I just did a quick um, conditioner Arctic Fox mix concoction whatever and chucked it on my hair and it just kind of like boosted up the green a little bit anyway that's all if you like this more casual setup um let me know in the comments because this was fun and this is what i call my comfy corner uh if you follow me on instagram a few weeks ago when i first got this beautiful chair i sat here for probably I think I ended up sitting here for like an hour because I have these really beautiful glass doors that open up onto a balcony and you can see the trees and 
like creepy people walking past staring at you <laughs> um, so it's just it's nice to sit in this corner of my studio I like it I feel very comfortable you can't really see I've got a fat ankle painting here that I bought at Grease Fest uh, last year I'm pretty sure it was and I've also got a painting that my friend Anth did for his band Baltimore Gun Club um, and I picked up that sucker and put it up here actually I have quite a lot of his um, paintings around the place and just his like art in general I've got a an old like oil barrel or petrol barrel that he's painted up you might have seen it in the background of one of my videos I can't remember um, he's pinstriped a bowling ball and a rolling pin and um, I've got a few more paintings over there oh gosh I don't know I just I seem to have a collection I also have this is also his I've probably said this a million times over and I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in an in one of the Doug Nance Pinup Academy videos from what feels like a million years ago. Anth drew up a ray gun tattoo and I didn't realize until afterwards that the ray gun on my arm matches the ray gun in this painting up here that this chickie's holding and I got really really excited so I, I like was a massive dog and took a photo with it and sent it to him because I was all excited. And I completely forgot about it because I haven't been in my studio very often recently. Uh, and he posted it again on Facebook the other day and I'm like, oh, memories. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe if you want to. I'm not going to be butthurt if you don't, but it would be kind of cool if you did. So let me know in the comments what like method of healing you use. Do you dry heal? Do you wet heal? What aftercare do you use? What kind of routine? do you use um, I might include them in, in my tattoo aftercare routine video that I'm working on yeah tell me I'll give you a little shouty outy it'll be kind of fun um, I'm always keen to know what other people use anyway and like see if maybe like what other products are out there and what benefits they have and all that kind of thing um, and it's always good to like share around small businesses so let me know in the nethers please because I'm very interested you can follow me on Instagram. I'm back on Instagram um, at Scarlet the Sometimes Pinup with a dot in between each word. You can find me on Facebook, the Sometimes Pinup. I also forgot to mention I'm going to be taking a handful of bookings for my pinup photography. I'll put in a few photos here of some examples of shoots that I will be booking. I am kind of finalizing prices and inclusions and all that kind of thing. So once I have details, I'll put that on Facebook as well. So that's it. I'm done. Thanks for sticking around for another really weird and poorly planned video i commend you if you've made it this far yeah that's definitely all i'm gonna stop rambling now thanks for watching bye <laughs>